the face off one by Florida. Hagee sneaks in and blocked by Truba. The Ranger kept with a big play, but he can't clear. Now he has help clear. And there's a whistle. Players down behind as the puck was advanced to the blue line. And Jacob Truba wants to know why the play was stopped. I want to know why it was stopped as well because Reinhardt went down. There was a a group of players. Truba was involved here. Looks like he makes a push or a shove or I mean it's contact. But the Rangers have the puck on the rush. And unless that player is in need of medical attention, you're supposed to be able to complete the rush. So I think it's a good question for Truba to ask. I quite frankly don't have the answer. And officials conferring. It almost looks like it's his hands as he goes in to shove it, Reinhardt. His hands catch him. Watch his left hand and left forearm catches Reinhardt. He goes down. And now the refs, Eric Furlap's over talking to Peter Laviolette to explain to him. And let's bring in Dave Jackson. Dave, would this be a situation of an inadvertent whistle, and why wouldn't they make the announcement to the crowd why the play was stopped? I believe so, Sean. Uh, I don't see any for whistle there, other than uh, you know, an abundance of caution for the player of injury. Uh, I think it's just one of those whistles that they wish they could suck the air back out and keep the play going, but those happen sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Reinhardt's back in the play here. He had to come off the ice. Rodriguez jumped off for him, but he's back. And here he goes again. Still a minute five on the penalty to Miller. Rangers leading two to one. Back-to-back -back goals after Reinhardt's power play goal gave Florida a one-nothing lead. And the puck went past Markov along the near boards. He has it back at center ice. Plays it for Reinhardt. 45 seconds down on the Miller penalty. So far, just one shot on goal on this power play for Florida. Good shot. We shall see. For Reinhardt, that one's blocked. Reinhardt again in a great close. spot. That one carries and gets cleared. So good work in front of Shesterkin by these Ranger penalty killers. They've done it a lot in this playoff. Their penalty killing has been exceptional. Only oh, gave up one in each of the last two games. Good speed through the blue line for Florida. And a clear by the Rangers that should take down just about the remaining time for Miller. Here's Bennett. Snapping it in from the neutral zone. Miller's on the top. Here's a drop by Eflat and a stop by Sisterkin. Yeah. Well, Florida now one for two on the power play. And down two to one midway through the first period. Plenty of action here in Sunrise. Stanley Cup playoffs on ABC presented by Geico. Get more with Geico. NHLShop.com, the official online store of the NHL and the world's largest selection of officially licensed NHL fan gear. Strong summer to you here. We lost. NHLShop.com. A phonetics experience. <laughs> Let's go! Clippers have never won a championship. People say the franchise is cursed. But everybody knows the problem. We got a bad boss. The players love me. We literally hate you! If he comes here, there will be a riot! I'm your owner! You're not my owner! FX is clipped. Streaming June 4th. Only on Hulu. Geico covers dead batteries with their easy app and 24 7 oh, oh, No kidding. Dead batteries are the worst. Oh, I don't know if you Geico gives me even more coverage and 24 7 help. See? Wait a second. You're not Frankenstein's monster. No. That's his cousin Trevor. Did you try the spooky castle off the road? <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Folks, have a great evening. Whatever you need for coverage to service, get more with Geico. Hockey fights cancer. Rangers leading 2-1 to one midway through the first period. Game 3 here in Sunrise, Florida. Time for Get More, brought to you by Geico. More on the interesting shared history of these two coaches. Paul Maurice was the coach of the Hartford Whalers, moved with them to Carolina. 
He was fired in 2003, replaced by Peter Laviolette. When he left, he left an old whiteboard and said, hey, they're great guys, great staff, good luck, have fun. When Laviolette got let go in 2008, he was replaced by Paul Maurice, who had been fired the previous spring by Toronto. Laviolette, according to Maurice, that did out that said something along the lines of, keep my seat warm. Peter never did return to the Carolina bench. An interesting shared history between these two coaches and a lot of mutual respect. Two of the winningest of all time. Out of the neutral zone, Vincent Trocek. Off for Keandre Miller. Reinhardt scored the first goal of the game. Uh, the Rangers have scored twice. Lock from the air has fed from Trocek and Truba. And Goodrow, scoring the game winner in overtime in game two, they're offside. His fifth now of these playoffs, more than he had in 80 regular season games from Schneider and Cooley. Tomorrow night, similar story out west. Two close games, low scoring games in Dallas. One win apiece. They go to Edmonton and 8.30 start on TNT. We're back here at 8 o'clock Tuesday night on ESPN and Plus. For game four, TNT will have stars at Oilers Wednesday at 8.30. And this series back to MSG on game five Thursday night at 8. Double overtime in game one for Edmonton. A couple of third period goals last night for Dallas. And the Western final is no different than this. It's not much between the two teams. And pressured by an aggressive Rangers for check. Centering pass, look at a jam spot. From quick play, Brandy Joppa, beautiful setup by Chris Kreider. You know, we talked at the start of the game about the need for offense at the top of the lineup. Lafreniere's already scored. Zabanin who had just eight shots in the previous six games. It's going to be right in the right place. This is a terrific four-check. First by Kreider, good support by Hedl. And Zabanin quickly on the spot. That's a good chance. Below the goal line, out front pushes the goalie to read, move, and react. Bobrovsky makes a save on a quick release from Zabanin no goals, seven games and counting for Savannah Jet. That was a glittering chance. Five of the six shot attempts on net for New York this afternoon. The first two games, only 38% of their shots were on goal. Billy Keel double teamed in the corner. The puck squirted out to Reinhardt. His clear block by Savannah Jet. Move forward by Hedl. Zavanajan across the top of the crease. Fox in deep. Centers one, hoping for Kreider. And now it's Reinhardt. Rangers giving Florida a taste of their own medicine with a very aggressive and effective four jack. Forsling out from beyond the red line. They wave off by Sega. Here's Mikla trying to sneak in. Turn around shot. Up off of Shastark into the back line. Trojan dodged the check from Kachuk. Off the stick of Heedle and center ice, into the zone, then set back out by Carver Verdeggi. 8.20 to go, first period, two high Rangers. And Aaron set across side, Gustafson chips it toward the corner. Montour to give it back to Gustafson. Now Trochek, room in the corner, tried to feed Schneider, that got deflected. He couldn't glove it down. And it's Kachuk, crossing, and then Larson just on. Through for Lundell, his back team, the puck to play Schneider. Now here's Verhege, trying to jam it down low, and that got intercepted. Braden Schneider. Did not connect with Wenberg, but Ruskin, the 35-year-old Russian on the plant. Two times a best of trophy winner. As the best goal in the NHL, and he's a finalist again this year, one of the three, the Connor Hellebuck. And Patrick Demko won't be announced until late June. Truba scales it around hard. Good work by Stanley. Excellent. He got it for Berg. And Cairns back to Stanley. He locked it for Forsley. And in the corner for Longberg. 
been the leading hitter on this Florida team in 11 through the first two games. He also led their team in shots on goal in game two, a big surprise, he had five. Winberg dumps some chases. Winberg is there first. Forsling nearby, there's Will Rippey back on the ice. Played nearly 10 and a half minutes in their winning game two. Bad mistake. Almost caught me by the He managed to hang on to the puck. Like the match is moments. He goes to the next front. As Rodriguez circles. Barclay Goudreau, you let a man so far, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go Rangers. Let's go Blue Shirts. No time to put it, baby. You're going to go into the goalie anyway, because it's not really a cross check, but Bennett just had done that before. I guess we're playing the Florida Panthers, because they look smelly. Look like he could have stopped. Bennett with the shot on goal. Lost. Three two I know how to work with the big shot in the cell. Oh, and a good chance for Rippy. Now Edmund Larson had a save. He heads to the net. Oh, nice save. You know, the Florida Panthers should be forced to see Dr. Dr. Howard at Schneider and Jacksonville. They lose this game. Oh, so that's trouble. Terrific action in the first period. That's going to be Rempe. He's going for roughing. Third time in this first period. The Rangers are going to be shorthanded. Can we kill off the... All right, I'll, all right, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get back to you, I'll get back to you guys later. We're going to beat the Florida Panthers, the Florida Panthers, whatever, they look smelly, go blue shirts. But nothing in the second period. The game is settled in. Lafreniere. Sends it up high, got the set quickly, and he's over the back of Lafreniere. Try to get it across, and Ekblad got a stick of the lead. And then the Rangers lose possession near the line. That's probably a place where Lafreniere's got to shoot the puck. He's got it out wide. They've made one cross ice pass. Now he wants to make another. There's too many sticks in the middle of the right, ice. On, it's really me. hard for Lafreniere to jam that pass shall see, right? across the ice. And the Panthers are able to deflect it. The puck comes out of the zone. And you're now into the last 15 seconds of this power play. Lafreniere, goal in the first period. is 20 If we win this game in overtime, we... He's not yet 23. We've done it many times. Now it's Bola, Let's Don see. Maloney, the only other Rangers with 20 career playoff points. Right, come on, Blue Shirts, let's go. We don't need to always score in the power play, 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 you know. We, we can only score just full strength, you know. Both teams are full strength with seven Untie the game. We need to be playing in the lead. Or else I'm going to be the one saying New York guys, you need to be here, we lost. Strong summer to get here, we lost. Look at the turkey and cheese. Strong summer to get here, we lost. Progressive can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can't save you money when you're bugging home and auto with us. It's time to make the ultimate defensive play and get body checked against cancer. AstraZeneca is the official partner in Hockey Fights Cancer. Welcome back to Florida. Our Temi Panarin and Sergei Bobrovsky, one from the Ural Mountains, the other Siberia, but they became best friends while playing in Columbus. They spent holidays together, dance parties together, and then in 2019, they both became free agents at the same time. 
Florida wanted to sign both of them. Only problem was, everybody wanted our Artemi Panarin. The Islanders, the Flyers, the Devils, the Colorado Avalanche. And on opposite sides, only one of them's going to make it to the Stanley Cup Final. Bobrovsky with a save. Games with the notable exception of the hat trick in the third period to clinch the series against Carolina. And then he takes it away. Raffinier robbed by Bob. Back to the line, Miller. Great chance for the Rangers to take the lead again. Cross ice for Panarin. He couldn't bat it out of the air. Now some speed for Bennett the other way. Oh, come on, Rangers. Let's go, Blue Shirts. Can we do it? Yes, we can! Judge! Woo! 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 Florida, did you hear? You lost. I mean, yeah, the Sex Pistols didn't win anything, and the Henry Gwenquist never won a championship. So what if the Sex Pistols didn't win anything? They, you, sometimes you don't always have to win everything to be successful. The tall drag will put him into the middle of the ice, and the backhand goes to the talking about. One off the post and in, and Alexi Lafreniere has given the Rangers a 3-2 lead, a brilliant individual effort. The highlight reel goal is second of this game, and the Rangers lead again. They led 2-1 to one in the first period. His heart's got to be going 150 beats a minute right now. What a spectacular goal and a Something you dream about, Alexi Lafreniere, beautiful markers giving the Rangers the lead. Kulikov back on it. Extra attacker on for Florida with a penalty coming up here to New York. Two and a half minutes to go. Kachuk's put down. That's the trouble. Rodriguez got knocked out of it. There's going to be two and another penalty on Trouble. There's going to be two here for sure. Rodriguez is injured to the side of the net. And Kachuk would be wise ready to back away in this instance because they might have a five-on-three power play coming. Both officials are over to take a look take at Evan look Rodriguez. At. Well, referee and linesman, Scott Cherry, the linesman, Kelly Sutherland, the official. And as often happens, they'll huddle their way back towards center ice. Evan Rodriguez just now getting to his knees. Crowd seeing a replay. We'll see in the moment. The officials are conferring about how they're going to rule. Well, it would be an elbow if they're going to call it, but they would have to have called it in the moment, I believe. The play is under review for a major penalty for the Rangers. And that is the way they can review it. The call of the major review. Well, Trub is in the box. Dave Jackson, you've seen a replay or two. What do you think based on what you've seen so far? Well, I think they, I, initially, I believe they had a penalty there, uh, possibly a minor penalty for, for elbowing. And then after discussion, I think they elevated it to a major penalty uh, to enable them to review it because it was head contact. So we'll see what comes out of this. But there's there's zero body contact. It's, it's all head. Uh, does it rise to the level of a five in game? We'll have to wait and see what their judgment is on the ice. So the first penalty is called on Truba there as Bennett went across the slot. So Truba is going to be in the box for sure. And as Jax just mentioned, they'll determine whether this becomes a secondary penalty to Jacob Truba. Well, the first penalty was for hooking. And now here comes the announcement. After we review, we have the original penalty, two minutes for slashing, and it's two minutes for hot bowling. So just two each. So it was slashing, not hooking, and then the elbow on Rodriguez. Down one, the Panthers will go on the power play. Jacob Trouba will be in the box for four minutes. Um, so we're just you here with this one for you, because you you are not doing this. Save the drive-wise and get a rate based on you. You're in good hands with Austin. Working from my hands. 
Well, a well-timed check can save a game. A well-timed body check can save your life. AstraZeneca and the NHL are teaming up against cancer. Together, we can stay ahead of cancer. With Let's a beat these Florida Pampers. They look smelly. And about available cancer screenings that are right for you. It's time to make the ultimate defensive play. And get I thought it was against wait. cancer. I, AstraZeneca is the official partner of the hockey but fights cancer. I know. But, oh wait, four minutes. Double minor. So Jacob Trub is in the box for four minutes for two minors. The first... Oh, well, maybe two miles, but it is what it is. And then the second for the elbow that did not rise to five minutes in the judgment of the officials. Luckily, it didn't go to five minutes. So it's another power play for Florida trying to get even. They scored twice on the power play today. But not this time. But if it, but we shall two see. Two out of three. Sam Reinhardt has both. We can stop him. Off the face off into the corner, played up now by Fox, played back in by Montour. Montour will be the man up high. He's very far from this man. Bernagy in the corner. Ryan Hart will set up out in front. Marcotte for Montour. We're taking toward two minutes to go in the period. Rangers leading. Three to two. Bernagy and drive right into the middle of Igor Shostakovich. Man Lindgren did a good job here as he denied the passing lane towards the middle of the ice. And so Lindgren, who we know is so tough and does all the blue collar hands dirty work for the Rangers, he just does this with positioning as he forces the puck one way and Shesterkin is able to make the save. Come on guys, it's good. Go check. Won the draw. Great sprawling play to keep it in by Montour. Let's go Rangers, come on blue shirts. Goodrow sends it down. Joe checks. Come on, Goodrow. Come on, buddy. He gets bumped by Forsling. Centers one. And Goodrow scores. Yeah, Barkley Goodrow. Way to go, buddy. You are the man. I'm proud of you. Way to make the king proud, man. Woo! Short end of goal. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Woo! All right, ladies. Prime Minister of Prince Streets on Prince Charlie. Papa and I, Papa Charles Maurice, and King, the King. Kings are not quitters, New York, New York Rangers. I don't root for a team because of their team name, which is like I don't root that, which is like saying I don't, we don't, people don't hire for sympathy. I root for teams based on their talent. This team has talent. We are the real, we could be the real kings of New York. And remember Lady Liberty, Queen of New York? If I can make it. Ah, uh, Florida Pampers, what happened? First two goal lead of the day for either side. And the Ranger fans have turned out in numbers here today, and they're loving this development. If I can make it there, I can make it anywhere. Third in the last two games. And they're barely on side. Rodriguez if I can make it here, I can make it else. anywhere. It's up to you, New York. New York. New York. Here you go. Watch out, run away. The Vanna Jad and Markov will try the face off again. It's our chance to shine, guys. Our chance to win all the time. Reese moved his lines around. He got Bennett back with Kachuk and Rodriguez. Markov. He dropped Tarasenko and put Berhage there. And there you go. There's the line that starts the overtime. Another stop. Oh, right out of the gate. Less than 10 seconds in. Stopping Barkov. Horsley could have lobbed it down. Eklund turns it back. The overtime picking up. Right where the third period left off with a huge save by Shostakovich. Reinhardt tried to turn and play it. Another game back for the second game in a row in this playoff series that this game goes to overtime. 
Good chance that the Rangers win. That's what Right now, we just got to pray. Today, over 
his shift, so Peter Laviolette not using him very much. Barkley Goodrell went off on a change and Lafreniere intercepted the puck from Mikola. Mikola didn't see that Lafreniere was jumping onto the ice. He laid a perfect pass and that shot's deflected a bit by Montour. It's a tough save in particular with the inactivity for Bobrovsky. Lafreniere had a brilliant afternoon, including, including two brilliant, beautiful goals that he scored with the backhand. He has two, Goodrell has the other two. This is the fourth time in the last 30 years the Rangers have had two multiple goal scorers in the Come on, guys. We need to score here. Schneider to the rescue, and that got blocked down. Most recent time they had multi goal scorers in the same playoff game it was in 2022, game six of Pittsburgh first round. Patterns of energy. There's a bad save made by just Urkin. Walking around the corner, Tara Senko. Dropped down to the lines without a chance to score the game winner. As he went undetected for a moment. Just Urkin out to play it. And he'll leave it. Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. Like, this is a position of the only point that may not be in for a long time. And we can't make, we can't miss the opportunities that may not come around again. Good action here in the first five and a half of overtime, still tied at four. Because if we weren't, we'd be on the way home. Uh, the Chuck's last second chance was the, the best chance to end it. That was turned aside by Shesterkin. We had Barkov's had a, another terrific game. No no points in game two, hit a post, and then came out here and has played a pretty dominant game. He had a chance in overtime off in the first 10 seconds. Uh, Mr. Papa, I mean, and Prince Charming, Prince Street, the Rangers in Cleary. Come over here. Sucky so Trophy winner, he does it all over the ice. Off the face-off. Goes to Sebastian! Yes! Woo! We did it! We did it! We did it! Two wins away from the Stanley Cup! Guys, we won. And we got it, baby. Woo! What I'm fucking talking about. Way to go, guys. Two more wins and we're going to the Stanley Cup. Woo! Woo! Thank you all for watching. See you on the next video. Go Rangers. Go Pushers. No quit New York, baby. Yeah, baby. Fucking yeah. Woo! Well, let me end it with a special with him. We won. Strong summer, didn't you hear? We lost. That's what. So, Florida Panther fans are. So what what happened, Florida Panthers? What's wrong, Summer? Didn't you hear? We lost. I'm sorry. What what's wrong, Florida Panthers? What's wrong, Summer? Didn't you hear? We lost. <laughs> what's wrong, Florida Panthers? What's wrong? Didn't you hear? We lost.